welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video let me try to fix my camera <laughs> um today we are going to be doing a paint your nails with me video so i'm super excited so basically i'm just going to paint my nails and talk to you guys and hopefully you guys can paint your nails while you watch this video as well i know when i'm painting my nails and i'm watching like youtube and stuff I like to watch longer videos so I don't have to like try to find a new one or click on a, on a new one with wet nails. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go in first with my base coat. So this is the Super Chic Lacquer Base Coat. I really love this. It's great to prevent against staining. So yeah, we're going to use this on our nails. Let me open this up already so it is officially fall um it's officially starting to feel like fall um yeah it's just starting to get cool here where i live so yeah it's time for the sweaters and all that good stuff um but while we're talking about fall I wanted to talk about seasonal nail polish wearing. Um, I've been seeing it talked about a lot on Instagram. Um, just because fall is a pretty popular season when it comes to like wearing certain nail polish colors. And a lot of people have been talking about, you know, if they are seasonal nail polish wearers or if they're not. And I am definitely a seasonal nail polish wearer. Um, not because I feel like I have to wear certain colors, but during um, certain um, times of the year, let me move this over here, um, I crave certain polishes or I tend to pull for certain polishes because I like those polishes. So sorry if I'm out of the frame a little bit. Um, this is my very first time doing this type of video. So bear with me, let me try to move this over here. Um, yeah, that's not working. Okay, let's just try this way. All right, so I'm just gonna have to reach across to get this. So, um, what else? And I'm not even in frame, okay. So, um, I am left-handed, so that is my predominant hand, so, yeah, but back to seasonal nail polish I'm wearing. Um, I crave and I kind of gravitate towards certain colors in certain seasons. Um, I definitely don't feel like I have to wear a certain polish in a certain season, but I just think it's extra festive and, you know, really, I guess, cute to wear colors that go along with the season um i'm definitely a holiday nail polish wearer as well i love wearing you know halloween polishes and christmas polishes and thanksgiving polishes and easter polishes like i love doing all of that uh, i'm sorry i'm not in the frame y'all um yeah so we're done with our um base coat but yeah so let me know in the comments down below if you guys are seasonal nail polish wearers i feel like some people um think that like people wear certain polishes during certain seasons because they feel like they have to or that's because it, that's like the trendy thing to do and i really do honestly crave those colors now if i want to wear an off-season color i will um this spring i wore a black just because i really wanted to wear black with the hollow topper so i did that so it's not something that i'm like totally sticking to to the point where i won't wear a polish that i really really want to wear um but most of the time i want to wear those polishes that coordinate with the season so speaking of that this is the polish that i will be painting on my nails today this is zoya's Layton. it's this beautiful dark purple um and it came out i believe in their fall collection last year this polish came out so it's gorgeous and of course it is seasonally appropriate so i'm gonna go ahead and paint this on my nails and we're gonna try not to make a big big mess 
okay so let's see um i might actually only end up painting my right hand on camera because as you can see with my um base coat was kind of a mess trying to paint my left hand so we'll see we will see okay so this is looking gorgeous already it's definitely gonna need a second coat um for me at least not a seasonal nail polish wearer why not I know I've heard a lot of people say that um, they're not seasonal nail polish wearers because where they live it's either always cold or it's always hot um, and they don't really experience the seasons that way um, that much so they don't really identify certain polishes with certain seasons because it's basically one big season for them um, it's always the same temperature like all the time so yeah I'm sucking at keeping this in frame you guys <laughs> I'm sucking I suck so bad at that okay but um yeah so that's one thing that I've heard as to why someone is not a nail polish um a seasonal nail polish wear But I love matching my nail polishes to a specific um, to a specific season or holiday. <laughs> All right, so I definitely need to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'm gonna try to do that. So I'm just using my cleanup brush, and I dipped it in some acetone. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, yeah, let's talk about this actually. So, do you guys like painting your toenails? Because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Um, I much rather prefer going to get a pedicure like I don't mind bringing a color for my collection but I cannot stand painting my toenails I do it because you know I have so much nail polish and I like the way it looks but I hate the process of actually doing it like I really hate it I actually didn't too, do too bad applying this um, yeah, but I hate the way it, um, I hate having to do my, um, toenails. Like, I'd definitely rather pay somebody to do that for me. So, do you guys like painting your toes? Because I definitely don't. I definitely don't. So, that's one coat of Miss Layton. And I'm actually going to do my other hand off camera because... Um, that's probably gonna make a big mess if <laughs> I try to do it. So I'll be right back with the coat on my other hand. Okay, so we're back and my other hand is painted. And there's a little bit of cleanup I forgot to do on this now. So let me do that really quickly. Where is it? It's right here. But yeah, I got this cleanup brush from, what is it called? Um, Vibrant Vinyls. I really like it. I wish it was a little bit more um, stiff. Um, as you can see, it's very flimsy. So I just wish it was a little bit more stiff, but other than that, I really like it. And it has a little dotting tool on the end. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with our second coat of Miss Layton. 
so it's October it is Halloween season um, so do you guys already have your Halloween Manny picked out or are you still thinking about it I don't know I'm still thinking about it but I have a lot of stuff going on the week of Halloween so I'm not really gonna have time to do something super extravagant for my nails so we'll have to see um, but I do have a video on my Halloween polish picks that will be coming out soon as we move closer to Halloween. Do you guys do anything super special on Halloween? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, on Halloween, me and my family, we used to go to my uncle's house um, because the trick-or-treating in their neighborhood is better for my sisters. So they dress up and go trick-or-treating out there. And um, we usually just stay at his house and watch scary movies and eat dinner over there. This is usually what we do pretty much every single Halloween. Um, when I was younger, my mom didn't allow us to trick-or-treat. Um, but of course, she allowed my sisters to do it. Ugh. The struggles of being one of the older children. Um, but yeah, she didn't let us sugar tree, but my sisters get to do it. So by that time, um, I was too old to trick or treat. Even though every single year there were people my age that would come to the door and I would give them candy because my aunt hated passing out candy. So I did that. And it would be always be um, like teenagers coming to the door trying to get candy. And it's not that serious to not give it to them. Um, it's really not. And then there, um, there's always like um, a mother or, or a couple and their baby. And they're like trick-or-treating for the baby. It's like, girl... We know you're going to sit at home and eat all that candy. That baby is not going to eat any of that candy. That is for you. Okay. But the rest of us adults, we know the drill. The day after Halloween, all the candy that the stores didn't sell is going to be half off. So you can get as much as your heart desires. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we have our two coats on. This is looking really shiny under my ring light, which I am definitely not mad at at all. So this is looking so pretty. Um, I thought this was actually really similar to um, OPI's Lincoln Park after after dark, but it's actually not. This is actually lighter, believe it or not. Even though this is a pretty dark shade, it's considerably lighter um, and a little bit more warm toned than um, the OPI. So. If you were thinking about getting this, but think, um, but you thought it was too similar to Lincoln Park After Dark, it's really not. I actually might get the bottle. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> My nails are still gonna be wet, so. Nope, we're just gonna let these dry for a second and I will be back to top coat. Okay, so we're back. So for a top coat, I'm gonna be using the Fast and Hard Top Coat from Vibrant Vinyls, and this is in the um, Scent Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Um, I never talked about these on my channel, but I bought them maybe like a month ago. Of this one, I bought the cleanup brush, and I bought a vanilla bean scented one. Um, just because I wanted to try, um, wanted to try a scented um, nail polish, um, not nail polish, top coat. So, and I love quick dry top coats. I'm impatient, so yeah. But I really like this one. Um, my favorite, favorite top coat ever is the INM Out the Door. I highly, highly recommend that. But if you like indie polishes, or um, I'm not sure if the INM Out the Door is vegan, because I know some people only wear vegan polish. Um, look into this brand because it's very comparable to it. Um, it dries just as fast, it's just as shiny, 
and a glossy. And you can pick a scent on top of that. Um, so definitely for Christmas, they have some Christmas, um, like a Christmas cookie scent. I so want to get that. Like, I really want to get it. Um, because I'm just super festive like that. So maybe if they have another sale. Taco is not super expensive, but I mean, I, who doesn't love saving money, so try to get things when they're on sale. finished product of my manicure thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like videos like these make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one bye